Hi, Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. Josh Gad for the new movie, Pixels. Yes. You know, it's, it's fascinating when we think of the 80s. You yeah. know, people think of the music, but we realize video games were such oh, a quintessential huge. part of the 1980s. Because what did you do? Without cell phones, you, on a Saturday, he really had two options. You could go to the movies, or you could go to an arcade, or you could go, I guess, skating. But people generally went to arcade games, uh, to arcades. You know, my household was no exception. My brothers were older than me. They would take me to this place called Grand Prix Racerama, and we would play. You know, it was it was all the greats. It was Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man. It was Donkey Kong, Galaga, and I sort of grew up in those musty, dank, pizza-scented arcade, dark arcade rooms, and that was such a significant part of my childhood. And that's what Pixels captures is the so essence of that. So, if aliens actually come and invade us. I want to get as close to you as possible because you yes. don't know what to do. Real with Josh Gad is almost as good as Love the Lemons Off My Garage on the movie. I don't know that I could really save us, but I, I would at least be able to give us a fighting chance for maybe a minute and a half before I die. Well, let me ask you something because it's about uh, in the 1980s or they, they sent up in rockets quintessential things of the time. If you were given the opportunity to put quintessential things of 2015 Ooh. that the aliens could then look at, right. what would you want to put up to let, represent life today? I would put up a movie called Frozen. I really think that no harm can hopefully come from that. <laughs> but watch, then they come back taking on the form of a giant Olaf who attacks a major metropolitan city. But, you know, Frozen seems like it would be okay. Uh, maybe I would send them... Uh, I don't know, virtual reality or, you know, augmented reality. Uh, I would send them all Apple products uh, just to be like, hey, beat this, guys. Can you do this? Do you guys have iWatch? I don't think so. But it's funny, too, when we were talking about this a little earlier, that it used to be about the whole nerd thing that was kind of like put off, right. that you weren't as cool as everybody else. And now, because of all the Apple products and technology, Where's a nerd? Please, somebody give me a nerd that can f tell me how to figure things right, out. Right, no. And this movie celebrates those people. The, the nerds rule the earth now. I mean, in, in the 80s, there was a movie called Nerds where they were the underdog. You couldn't make that movie anymore because they, they run the world now. You know, whether it's Silicon Valley or, or what have you, they're now always in positions of power. And it's really lovely to get to play, you know, a hero who doesn't have a superpower or a cape but somebody who just happens to be really good at playing video games. Uh, that, that's, for me, it's kind of like wish fulfillment. It's great. Well, wish fulfillment was getting to talk to Josh Gad again. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. And this is Scott Rowland, until next time.